Hi Kawan, welcome to the channel. This is uh, EDC Ready. I am your host, Mr. EDC, and today I want to do a quick disassembly. Well, actually, it's not going to be a quick disassembly. This is a full disassembly of the QSP Deva. Now, to actually disassemble this knife, as in just to take out the blade, you only need to take out these three screws one, two, and three. But today, I'm going to show you guys a full disassembly, which means taking out the scales and also servicing uh, these tools right here. And that is not a very straightforward task because, uh, well, it's not. Not a straightforward knife to take apart unless it is a quick assembly which means it'll be very easy so uh, without further ado let's get to it before uh, I completely take it apart I just want to give a little shout out to my patreons which at the time of this recording uh, none of them are around yet because well this is still a new channel and I still don't have any uh, patrons but if you guys do want to check out my patreon account and support the channel if by the end of the month you have a few extra bucks in your pocket on your bank and you want to help me grow this channel you want to see this channel uh, go to the next level and see me possibly do more gear reviews you can just check out my patreon account in the description down below so I've just taken off that pivot uh, but to take out the other pivot I actually need to take out this uh, pocket tip right here so as you can see this is right side I think it's right side but uh, it's definitely a tip down pocket carry right here which is not my favorite pocket carry which I'll explain in the full review later on nice pocket but it's just a uh, nice pocket clip but it's just in the wrong position all right moving on so the pivot is a t8 and then the rest of the knife is actually a t7 which is not all that common in the knife world to have a t7 screw all right Let's take this guy out so I've actually already done a quick disassembly of this knife. Uh, you can just click in uh, the little icon at the top or in the description below. I do a little quick video about uh, knives who have some lock rock, especially li liner lock knives. All right, there I explain like why a liner lock has some lock rocks and uh, how can you fix it in the near future. All right, so you can see it there as well. Okay, so I have these screws open. So in theory, I should just be able to pull this knife apart. At least the main parts of the knife. Okay, stop pin fell out. Okay, let's make sure everything is still in one place. There we go. Everything's up. So we have the three main scales and then the uh, the blade itself. And this is the bearing. All right. So let's take out this bearing right here. And then here we have the three main parts of the knife here. We have the bearings and then we have the stop pin and we have my tools right here. This is what I'm using and this makes a great thumbnail. So I'm going to keep this for the thumbnail. Okay, next up, put the blade to the side. Let's take apart the uh, individual parts right here. Firstly, let's take out the pin here, which is D-shaped. Okay, this means that uh, it's not going to be free spinning, which is very, very nice. Okay, I got my T7 bit here. Unscrew. Okay, so this part is out. Take this piece out here. Okay. That screw is out. Let's put that there. Take out the back one here. Actually, do I? Yeah, we gotta take that out. that out put the pin here oops don't roll all right then uh, take out this pin right here or this pivot right here all right and take all this out just like so and put it over there Take this boy out. Should be a washer on this side. Yep, there it is. That's the washer. Right. Take this piece out. And yeah, that's it. So that is one side. I'll put that side there. Put that washer back down there. Put that down there. Now I'm gonna take apart this piece. Okay. Mm, yeah, let's take about this piece. Right, keep that there. Take about this. 
through oh and everything just falls up from there am i missing a screw where is that screw hmm that's interesting maybe i might find it later all right hmm just one screw, which is that screw. Did I lose a screw? Oh, there it is. Okay, sorry. Yeah, that's a screw. There we go. Alright, so now uh, I'm actually going to go grab a microfiber cloth because I forgot to get it. So just give me like five seconds. Alright, so I'm back with my microfiber cloth. So now uh, we're just gonna wipe everything down. Make sure everything is clean. Okay, on both sides. Oops, screws right there again. Okay, there we go. Here's just wipe everything down. So these scales right here are G10 scales on full metal liners. So this knife is actually quite beefy once you get everything like tightened up properly. It can actually be a pretty, uh, pretty durable knife, pretty hardy knife which is nice. So we have the two washers right there. They're kind of dry, which is probably why I need to do this disassembly. All right, let's wipe off this washer. Wipe this washer. Wipe off those skills right there. And I know this one has some oil behind it. All right, then yeah, that's about it. We've Wipe down everything, just wipe down the blade. Also, make sure we get rid of any grease and any gunk that has developed. Okay. Yeah. I just want everyone to know that I'm not like I'm I'm relatively new to the knife world. So far everything I have is our budget knives and I don't have that much experience with taking knives apart. I'm but I'm pretty much just making excuses for why this is not such a good video. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much place everything back together and uh, let's start with this side because this side doesn't have the lock so it should be in theory a bit easier. Let's figure out which tail goes where. Yep, that's right, that goes right there. Yeah, and on this side uh, I am going to put the This is the right one. Yep. So on this side we have the the bottle opener. So right, what I have here is just some mineral oil. So mineral oil is great uh, as a uh, as an anti corrosive agent, and it also helps lube up knife. But it's not great in the sense that uh, what happens is the 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 it it it, it kind of attracts a bit of crud, kind of attracts a bit of dust here and there. So we gotta make sure we use it sparingly. It's also very like not viscous. So it tends to trail and the water tends to drip out. The, the oil tends to drip out quite a bit. Okay, sometimes you want that extra thickness to hold everything together. All right, so sorry, I got the skills mixed up again. So I'm just here now going to put in the washer. And the tricky thing is that you gotta align everything up. And I do that by actually using the, the Torx bit here to kind of align everything up. Just like so. Now the thing about the knife is that if you're lucky, when you put everything in, this here is like a it's like a detent. So if you put it the right way and then you push it out, it should snap into place using that, that piece here. But it doesn't work 100% of the time. So I, I guess there's a bit of a tolerance issue or maybe I'm just not that good at putting the knife back together. So that's there. Now let's take the other washer. Stick it in there. Use a little bit of that residual oil. Stick it there. Okay. All right. Then that goes there like that. All right. Now let's create a bit of space. Let's take that pivot from last time. 
the bigger one and we're gonna stick it in here if we get everything lined up properly like so I've already damaged my board which I told myself I would not do probably need to move to like a different board here alright so that's that's in let's take one of the pivot screws Oh, not pivot screws, sorry. Let's take one of the screws. Alright, so that's in position. That's good. Alright, let's take the next pin here, which is this fellow right here. Stick that in. Like so. No, this is the top this is the stop pin. What the hell? Okay, there we go. This is the right one. Stick it in here. Grab one of the back screws. Screw it in. Like so. Alright. Next up, take one of these uh, center screws. Alright. So everything is coming along quite nicely okay. put this guy in right here uh, okay so this is a d-shaped screw so we got to find the correct shape to push it in I'm assuming that's the D right there there we go got the D so next up what I want to lubricate and take a chance here is uh, Lubricate this area right here. That's where the bearing spins and then that's the pivot and lubricate the detent ball a little bit Take this stick it in there and then uh, Just for now. I'm just gonna seat the stop pin right there All right, okay that side is good to go Now I'm gonna put this piece back together so same process Take a bit of that residual oil, stick it there. Stick it there, sorry. Okay, I'll take the stop pin. Oh, sorry, the uh, Teflon washer. Stick it there. Probably needs a little bit more oil. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so the problem is I actually did it on the wrong side. It should be on this side. nice so if you had a more viscous oil like say a knife pivot loop or mineral or, or something not mineral oil it would actually help it to stay there a bit better which is a good thing okay now using this let's make sure everything is in place using some more of that oil let's not waste that stick it there Use the oil on my fingers. Alright. So now. See, so unlike the other piece which this thing works quite well. On this side, it doesn't really work that well. It doesn't have that clickiness to it. Because this thing doesn't really line up to it so well. Unless if I'm really lucky. Alright. Stick it there. Hmm, it's not really going through. Okay, we're gonna have to do this side by side. And by that I mean do it one side at a time. Okay, and adjust this side now. What I'm gonna do then is just, I'm just gonna put the, uh, the kit, the screwdriver bit right in between that. Oh yeah. That worked. Okay. Now we're just gonna stick this pin here, this screw here, kind of like 
screw that in a little bit just to hold it in this side right here no this is the back side yeah sorry this one doesn't belong here so these screws are the longer screws which are these ones okay, just get that into position it's not gonna screw in because well it's it's not gonna screw in because it screws into here I just want to make sure that it's seated properly this side too but this screw on the other hand does not go in here or does it? yeah they both seem to be about the same length alright get that in position and then this one now this one does screw in because this one doesn't screw into well, any hole here so this one goes in by itself then you can actually start trying to put it in and at this time I like to wish myself a bit of luck because it doesn't always go in like so okay let's try to screw this one in not going to work because it's not seated in properly okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to back this out to give more space for that that pivot to sneak into and then try to wiggle it in hmm okay let's try let's try this out first oh forgot about that I need that that seems to be uh, quite important Stick this in here like that. Let's add a bit of oil here. Probably too much, but it's okay. Stick that in like that. Okay, let's move this out of the way so that we can get the stop pin in properly. Okay, that part's in. Stick this part in. Screw that in. this boy in move to our T8 bit right here hmm. that's why I wouldn't screw in stop in it's not in either okay this is what I experienced last time in the first video when I tried to take this part Mind you, the camera battery is really low, so if it dies, I'm going to have to stop this and then re-record or at least continue where I stopped off. Okay. So that's in. Now, it's this piece right here. Hmm. Oops. Sometimes it just needs a wiggle and then it will like click in. Hold on. Okay, let's reduce a bit of tension by disengaging the lock. Mm. Okay, let's try this. Let's try trying to tighten this side of it. That might help. No, the screw is not even coming in. Hold on. See now, where are we at? If I wanted to like do a really good video, uh, I would just like not do anything and just stop the video right here. But I just want to show you guys that nobody's perfect and that, well, sometimes when you start off a YouTube channel about knives, 
you have to go through all these growing pains. Okay, so I'm gonna try something different now. I am going to uh, we take out this spot here. Uh, take out this uh, pivot screw right here. See if we can kind of wiggle it back into place. Hmm. Okay, so let's take all the screws out. See, we can do this. There we go. See, we can do this one at a time. Woo! Here we go. Round two. Do the QSP Deva. So put that in. So that's in. So the problem is, is that this piece right here doesn't actually. It actually creates tension against the knife or against the pins here. And uh, unlike with the other side, it doesn't actually click in. So it kind of gets in the way a little bit. So let's put this guy back here I may have bent the washer but that's okay I'm gonna add a little bit of oil just to that's a lot just to seat everything in all right now this is gonna go in here like so and since it's in, it might just screw in this time. Try and finish this before the battery dies. And that's in. That's in two. And That's in three. All right. Okay. Let's put in the stop pin before I damage the rest of the knife. Okay. The eight screw. All right. Now we're just going to tighten these screws right here, tighten that, tighten that, tighten that, these are tight already, there we go, no blade play, a bit too tight though. Alright, so I'm back. Uh, battery died, but uh, I just switched batteries and it. I just stopped where the camera died just now. So uh, you're not going to miss anything. So I just want to check this part right here. Okay, this part moves slowly, uh, smoothly, and then this part moves quite well. As you can hear here, as you can hear here, you can hear that click. Alright, on this part, that little metal piece didn't want to seat properly with this. And I don't know why, I haven't been able to get the seat properly. So it doesn't have that that click that you hear on the other side but that's okay it still works it still functions it just doesn't have that oh yeah so now uh we've tightened everything uh i just need to uh fix the the pivots right here now with the pivots here because the pivots unlike these other screws that don't move much at all the pivot screws i experience the most amount of vibration because i'm a fidgeter i fidget the knife I click 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 so I am going to put a little bit of blue Loctite here, just a little bit to make sure the screws stay in a bit longer. Right. Okay. Now the great thing about this is that uh, you can tighten it and untighten it as you wish. Uh, but what I do is from there I just leave it overnight to let the uh, the liquid harden overnight, and from there it should be all good, and it should maintain its. Uh, torque for quite some time it's not like red loctite red loctite will actually make it difficult to unscrew the screws but uh this blue loctite is like a medium strength one so that one's good for things that you need to still take apart in the future but you don't need it to unscrew because of the vibration something i learned from nick shabazz 
get this in just like that oops got some uh, blue lock on the G10 but that's okay it's not gonna hurt the G10 As I mentioned, it's a non-free spinning uh, pivot, so I only need to tighten once at a time. If it was a free spinning pivot, I would need to uh, go at it on both sides. But yeah, it's a uh, the stop pin is not it's not seated properly. Well, I need, just need to tighten it up a bit more because everything else is no, because everything else is uh, in position. All the other screws are in. Let's see if I can just like manipulate this into position right here come on just get in there come on. hold on there we go now we can tighten it. Alright. Tighten this side. And it should be. Okay. Okay, that feels good. No lock rock because I fixed it. You can find out in the video how I uh, fixed it. Just go to the description box down below and I talk about how to fix lock rock no side to side play drop shut beaten is strong okay actually I can back this up a little bit because it's just a little bit too tight 1 16th there 1 16th there still no blade play but the action has gotten even smoother uh, this knife is not 100% centered, it's probably off by about 5-10% to 10 if you can see it there. But it's okay, the blade is not touching the liners. Okay, I think I can just back this out a little bit. Another 16th of an inch of a turn. Another 16th there. Still no blade play, still no rocking. Oh yeah, see if I can loosen this up even more without introducing any play at all. Okay. No play, no play. How's the action? It's getting better. Okay, let's go a little bit further because I think that there we go. It's a lot of tension. Okay, now there's side to side blade play. No up and down. Okay. Let's tighten it back up, 1 16th, 1 16th, and you always want to uh, make sure that you tighten or loosen on both sides at the same time. Keep everything working, okay. There's less play there, but still a bit of play. Let's tighten everything. Alright, that's the sweet spot right there. It flips okay so um, the oil is making it a little bit tricky to flip it but you know that's how it goes okay so everything looks fine action is great now we're just going to put this back on so that i can film the review later Right, there we go. Uh, feels great, action's good, no play at all. And then, will it drop shut? There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, that is uh, my disassembly of the uh, QSP Diva. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you guys uh, learned something. And if you have one, uh, just let me know if you have as much trouble as I do trying to put this thing back together. And yeah, just uh, let me know what you guys think down below. And yeah, this is my first ever, well, 
technically first ever full disassembly video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah, stay ready.